What's good, everybody? Welcome back to Algebra 1 with Mr. Peters. In today's video, I'm going to go over 10 practice problems on how to switch from exponents that are fractions to radical form. Let's get started. Before we get into the practice, guys, let's just talk about a very important concept. And if you understand this concept, this becomes a thousand times easier, I promise. So let's talk about flower to a power. And this is just a way that I teach the students just to help them remember. All right. So the top number or the yeah, the top number for the exponent is your flower. Right. That's what you see. That's basically the power. Right. And then the bottom is just the root. Right. We don't see it. It's underground. Now, let's say we switch over to a radical. Right. Remember that. The power like imagine the, the, the house is there. The, the radical is the house. Inside the house, we need power. What supplies the power? Let's just say the root are, is the electrical wiring coming to the house. Hopefully this could help you. It's been something that's helped me for a very long time. Let's jump into this. So when we go here, right, all they're asking is, hey, what is the cube root of 8? We have 8 to the first power, which is itself. Cube root is 2. This problem is done. Now we go to the second example. Remember, when we're working with variables, we may not finish with a numerical answer, right? All they're asking us to do is, just, hey, what is the correct format for this? And what you see on my screen is the correct answer. Sometimes they want you just to switch it over. Sometimes you have to switch it over and simplify. As we go into the next set of questions, we're now going to also, we're going to not only switch over from one form to the other, but we're going to have to simplify. So I know I have 64, right? The power is 2, the root is 3. In my previous video, I told you guys, you could take 64 to the second power, then find its cube root, or you could find the cube root of 64 and then square it. I like to do whatever is easier for me. So I know the cube root of 64 is just 4, right? And once I square 4, my final answer is 16. So when they say 64 to the 2 thirds power, simplify, that answer is 16. Now Z to the... 10 over 5. Let's say you just didn't really, you weren't paying attention. You're just switching from form to form. Easy answer, z squared. We just, we just divide that fraction. But let's say for some reason, you know, guys, we get nervous on the test. We, we did not see that. I got you. So we switch to form, right? Z is under, the root is 5, the power is 2. Just like other examples in my previous video when I was talking about simplifying radical cube roots and fourth roots, we could divide. 10 divided by 5, z squared. So however you cut it, we're going to get the same answer. All right, so let's go on to the next one. We have 125 to the 1 third power times x to the 6 over 3. So let's just write this, right? We know both of them have the same root. Thank God. Makes it a lot easier. <laughs> All right, so 125, and then we have x to the 6. So just remember, 125 is a perfect cube, right? That's 5. 5 times 5, 25. Multiply one more time by 5. We get 125. So I'm going to get x, I mean 5, I'm sorry. And then when we look at the uh, power, 6, and the root, 3, I know I could get two pairs of 3, which is just simplifies to x squared. As we continue on in this video, guys, we just really hope that you find this material helpful. As we simplify now, just remember that this is a little bit different, right? Because now we're going to have to follow those properties of exponents. So I'm going to multiply these two, the inside exponent and the out. So this is going to give me x to the negative 5 over 5. And we know that simplifies to x to the negative 1 power. Cannot have a negative exponent, so we turn it into a fraction, take its reciprocal. And we're going to have 1 over x as our final answer. Now let's go over to our next example, right? The same exact concept. We multiply. We're going to get x to the negative 4 over 3. We can't have a negative exponent. So we turn it into a fraction, take its reciprocal. We have 1 over x to the 4 over 3. When you take the reciprocal, guys, we take the reciprocal of the base. So we're talking about x over 1, not taking the reciprocal of the exponent. The exponent is going to stay the same. I just want to make sure 
we're on the same page with that. Because I've seen that mistake happen before. So we go into this uh, next problem, and it's the same thing. So we multiply exponents. We have x to the negative 20 over 5. Uh, let's just let, let's simplify it from now, right? So this is going to turn into x to the negative 4. And then once we turn this into a fraction and take its reciprocal, we have 1 over x to the positive 4th power. All right? And in our next one, they, they, they're going to try to do this at times. Just make sure that you pay attention because we do have a coefficient. And when we take that coefficient to the negative 4th power, we have to take the reciprocal. But this is how you should normally solve it. Let's just do 2 to the... And hold on, guys. I think... Yep, I, I wrote the wrong exponent. Let's just switch it real quick. Okay, perfect. So now we have 2 to the negative 4th power. And then now we have x to the negative 4th over 4 power. So as we simplify this now, right, I'm going to have... one over 16x. And the reason why, two to negative fourth, right? Once we flip it, all this would turn into, let's change the red, would be one over two to the positive fourth power, which two to the fourth is 16. And once we simplify four over four to get negative one, we just take its reciprocal. So this is how we got to the answer, one over 16x. Now, my very last example, once we do this, we're going to have x to the negative 8 over 4 power, which gives us x to the negative 2. And now that we just simplify, because we can't have a negative exponent, turn it into a fraction, take its reciprocal, and our final answer is 1 over x squared. So when we're talking about fractional exponents, guys, rational exponents, radicals, Switch it from one form to the other. I really hope that this practice was helpful for you guys. I'm going to link videos on how to do it, introductory videos on this topic. But like I said, thank you guys so much for joining. Smash the like channel, subscribe to the channel, and thank you guys so much for joining us on Algebra 1 with Mr. Peters. Comment down below if you have questions or concerns from this video or other videos on our channel. Thank you.